Hello friends, welcome to a new video of Outdoor Pasto. Here we are outside in the forest, uh, going to uh, do some outdoor stuff today, some uh, outdoor cooking, probably some foraging for mushrooms and just uh, checking out this place. There's, uh, as I uh, walk a little bit, there should be a uh, into type of shelter where you can make a fire and cook legally. This is one of these city council made uh, outdoor places. Uh, it's quite popular. There was a few cars and a parking lot. I have not seen any people yet but hopefully there's enough room for me today to cook on this place and uh, just uh, yeah, do some foraging for mushrooms. Well, for that there's room, there's forest everywhere, so that's not a problem. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I came to check this out. I'd rather go to wild wild, you know, um, not to this uh, official uh, outdoor places that I'm provided for you by the city council, but i rather go to uh, real bush when it's possible but it is what it is living in the city so that's how it is in the surrounding areas so anyway it's quiet it's beautiful here and uh, we're gonna enjoy this day as much as we can okay stay tuned well it's beautiful here anyway there's a little lake there we'll get even better view soon I've been there once, did a little bit of fishing here, uh, but that's it, that's about it. And uh, yeah, so far it's been quiet, I haven't seen any people even though there were so many cars. Maybe, because there's other places you can go from that parking lot as well, so maybe I will have this place for myself today. Hopefully, let's see. Actually, I forgot to take the tripod from my car, <laughs> so... This time you will probably won't see my face as much in this video, but I believe you can handle that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so let me show you uh, what kind of spot I'm at. It's a beautiful view of this lake. This is a place that I fished before. There was a few perch around at that time. and. Uh, I have fishing rods in the car, but I didn't come to fish today so much, so there's even some summer house there, but pretty quiet place. You can see and hear the first people, they're coming as well, so they're coming back, so that might mean that uh, I will have this place for myself. Okay, let's continue hike. So there's plenty of berries around, blueberries and those buck bilberries that I love so much. So um, I will start by eating the berries. There's the shelter there. There's a family there at the moment. So um, I'm filming there and not cooking yet. Uh, so I'm just uh, walking around a little bit, see if there's any mushrooms and. Uh, enjoying these berries it's uh, full of all the goodness so that's good okay just found another little fireplace which would work perfectly for me um, but unfortunately it's starting to rain so I want to stay in the midst of the rain so I'm still gonna go to that shelter and uh, cook there even though there's other people that's all right of course but uh, I don't like to film so much when other people are around so let's see how it goes but this could be an option as well okay friends so now I have this whole place for myself all of a sudden uh, it's a nice place it's sheltered so even if it's rain I'll be totally dry and uh, they already built the fire so I don't need to start that even though I like to start fire but that's alright I can use 
that which is already made but a beautiful spot even for fishing so I didn't take my fishing rod from the car but who knows if I go and get it later because it's not that far anyway or I, or I take my other stuff back and then come back fishing let's see but now I guess I start cooking I have some good stuff with me today so what we have here today for food is chicken breast with some uh, rosemary berberry um, seasoning and the banana which I'm also gonna wrap in the aluminium foil after I have first peeled it and uh, grilled it as well so that should be simple and yummy dinner uh, or lunch late lunch uh, these are this is actually plenty too much for me it's almost 400 grams of chicken but when you are in the bush you can eat, eat a bit more so that's fine it's gonna be delicious i believe so there they are cooking nicely uh, for chicken i just uh, put uh, two layers of uh, aluminium foil for banana just one because like you see they are on the top of that grill not directly on the fire or coals so don't have to put so many wraps around them. I don't always cook <laughs> aluminium foil, even though I did it last time as well. But for this kind of uh, food, it's kind of convenient for chicken breast and stuff to get it uh, thoroughly cooked. So it's better, easier. So now just waiting for maybe 15, 20 minutes or so, and should be good. And it's raining now, but I'll be able to remain dry here. And uh, it's not a long hike back, and uh, it's not supposedly raining the whole day. So anyway, I suppose I'm gonna remain dry today. So I'm having uh, actually a quite a busy season in my life. Lots of things, uh, studies, work, uh, all sort of sort of stuff, but. Uh, so I'm not sure how much uh, there's smoke going to my eyes. I'm not sure how often I can post a new video. Uh, but I don't worry about things. I don't worry about the future. I don't worry about how I manage to do all the things that I, um, I have to do. The Bible says clearly, uh, trust in the Lord and lean not in your own understanding. So I'm not leaning in my own understanding whether it was good or whether it wasn't so good I'm not leaning on it I'm trusting in the Lord that he if he puts me into something because he is leading me if he puts me into something uh, he will see me through it and it will be a success it will be things that I do will prosper because of him because I put my faith in him and my trust in him and you can do it as well he is there for you Let's explore this place just a little bit more. There's this little, not sure what you call it in English. Oh, it's wet here, but it's almost like an island. And probably is when the weather, level, water levels are higher, but nice spot anyway nice spot anyway yeah super beautiful super nice so and and on that side is the shelter um, there's a little bridge type of thing going to that island as well not going there now um, yeah but nice so I find this place to be so nice that I kind of have to come and do an overnight camping here. If not this fall, then it will be next summer. It's a popular place, so there's always, in the weekends, there seems to be many people. But if I can do it somehow in the middle of the week, then it will be probably be very peaceful. Just come here, camp and fish and uh, yeah that would be great so that's the plan that's the, something that i now 
put in my memory and uh, to-do list. God willing, when the time is right. So let's go and see. Soon our meals will be ready. So I had to take my food a bit closer to the fire. It's getting up heat to really cook it. So, but pretty soon should be ready and uh, waiting it to be very delicious as well. Now look at that thoroughly cooked chicken breast. That smell is beautiful. So let's try this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I don't think it gets any better than this, so, mm, wonderful, let's check the banana as well. Well this is totally something that I don't have very often, a cooked banana, but I love bananas, I have decided to start eating them more, so let's try this cooked one. Yeah, nice. A little bit of that charcoal taste makes it wonderful. So, beautiful meal. I'm now just going to enjoy this and let's see what happens after that. So, finished my beautiful meal and uh, after that I want to enjoy a couple of cups of Russian Earl Grey tea and the Snickers bar. Double Snickers actually. <laughs> yeah, it's quiet. It's peaceful, actually not rain at all, fire dying down little by little, and yeah, maybe I'll do that fishing later on, let's see. Okay, so next thing is, I'm heading back, take my stuff to the car, grab my fishing rod, uh, probably a tripod put this time, and walk back and possibly do some fishing, at least try. This fire is dying down, so I'm not uh, throwing any water on it, at least now, since I don't want to make any uh, the fire, bit, fire pit wet for the next person, since it's not going anywhere from there, so yeah, so let's hike back to the car now and then come back and do some fishing. Beautiful, brilliant looking place. I like this so much. And there's a place where you can put your tent and stuff if you don't want to sleep exactly on that one. So then you can put, put tent here somewhere and just stay one night, two nights, who knows. Pretty good place. And the reason as well, I choose now fishing over mushroom foraging is because well, there's some mushrooms there well anyway I I um, looked a little bit around and didn't see too many good mushrooms so but I know a place where I can get them so that's where I'm going to go some other time so today fishing it is so guys it's a fish I changed, uh, I had a couple of hits first with the uh, jig, with soft plastic, and that changed it to a spinnerbait. And uh, it's a first perch, not a big one, but very nice one. So, yeah, so I thought that this would be around here. This little guy goes back. It hit immediately when I started reeling in. So let's make another cast to the same spot. There's probably some more. Good old spinner bay. Making come comeback. I have not been fished with fishing with spinner baits for a long time, but this summer or this year. Getting back into it and yeah, for perch. They just work. My spinner bait that I'm using, even this is a fairly big one. Uh, 
It was not a problem for that perch, even though it wasn't the big one. Yeah, let's see if there's people at the perch around. Well, at least we have a fish today, so that's good, but I keep casting a little bit more. Okay friends, that's it for today's video, hope you enjoyed that one, got to try a little bit of fishing, then it started to rain pretty good, so I walked back to the car, but we got that one perch as well, and so I know now that if I come here, have a right, right sort of uh, equipment, maybe some worms, maybe smaller spinner baits or whatever I can uh, catch uh, dinner or lunch or some food from the little lake and probably there's some bigger fish as well so yeah that was a good experience so I would say that this sort of uh, public uh, hiking spots outdoor spots they can be pretty good too even though I still try uh, try not try but like much more the true wilderness so okay God bless you my friends and we'll we will see you next time when the time is right. Okay, bye bye.